Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, here I am. I'm just cleaning up my pit because uh, I had dump. I had did a like, steam bath this uh, this morning, and I'm just coming on, coming back and just knocking out the rest of the stuff I need to clean up. Okay, I'm not gonna be before you long. My battery is about to die, so I got a lot of the Creole such stuff that needed to come off, and this is what uh, this is most of it. This is like the second cleaning. So all this came off the sides and. Um, I actually, you know, my stack right here, I took my shop vac, right? And I stuck my shop vac down in the flue, in the stack, and turned it on full blast so I can push some of that stuff uh, out of the stack and out of the sides, you know, to push some of that stuff down. So I had a lot that was in here too. Uh, it just actually, fl I mean, flushed it out. Because once you, you know, do a steam, it's just going to flake up, right? It's going to flake up like this. And that's what makes it easy for that stuff to fall off, uh, to make you clean, you know, a little bit, a little bit easier. Okay, but you know, I had, so I did have some cake stuff on there. You can see, let me turn my light on. Let's see. Turn on. All that was caked on a little bit. You can see how here. That's the that's the foundation. Even that seasoning. I'm not taking all this off, but I was taking off some of the the nasty Creole set like this right here. That's flaking up, you know. So I took most of that off, the stuff that's flaking off, and the stuff that was flaking off on the sides, inside the uh, the side stack, okay, on the um, on the uh, the grill grates, rails, and then actually down in here. So I actually took a lot off on the bottom, and again, this is my second cleaning that I did. I did one two days ago, and I just did another one. So it was time for it. So you can see I cleaned a lot of this stuff off. Cause you know how sometimes you think you're great, it's not sliding in good because I had a lot of built up stuff in there, you know. And then my doors, you know, once you flake it off, once you do a stand, it just comes off nice and easy, you know. And then, see I like that right there. This comes off nice and easy once you do that steam bath. You know, I'm gonna do most of it just like that. Let me turn this light on. My battery is just about to, about to die. Okay. Let's see. There we go. So I'm going to take all this off. All the way down. All right. I'm going to take some more of this off to get that. Then I'm going to come in with my Pam spray. All right, and that's about all I'm going to do and just go ahead and re-season the back real good. I'm going to get in. I bought two cans of these. You know, it's just regular old cheap canola oil. You know, any oil would do. But it's best to use something like a spray can instead of putting rags, put a, instead of putting grease on the rags. You know, this is easy. You see where it's starting to rust up because uh, I did a steam bath. And so go ahead and spray that down. It's not, it's not rust, but it's just where it's starting to dry up a little bit. Oops. And overall, the pit inside looks good. You know, that's why I, I try to keep a dry pit in most of my cooks, you know. All right. I'm going to come back and do the rest in just a minute, but I just want to let you guys see that. Yeah, I'm going to come in and do the door again. But I'm gonna take this off too. Uh oh, what happened? I'm gonna take all that black stuff off too to take it down to the base. All right, guys. So every now and then you gotta do a steam bath. And uh, how I do my steam bath? Okay, I do leave my grates in. Is it kind of fuzzy? It looks fuzzy. Hold on a second. I think that spray got on my lens. Yeah, there we go. I think. So when I do my steam bath, I dump in maybe two gallons of water. All right, I close all my valves up, everything. And then I dump two gallons of water up there. And you can see under here, that has got clean too. As a matter of fact, let's look at the stack inside. See how the stack looks clean? Not a lot of black stuff on the side. So I dropped two gallons of water down there. And then I just closed it up and uh, went to work, came back. And the pit was actually still warm. And uh, it was it was a lot easier to go ahead and start 
scraping that stuff off and then reseasoning. All right, guys, that's a, that's it. But this is what happens, you know, after a while. I like to try to clean it every every three months and get all that stuff out of here. And that's just build up over time and just knock that stuff off and it'll it it be good. All right, guys, gotta go. Hey, God bless. And uh, it's supposed to snow tonight, about four or five inches tonight. So I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be smoking tonight. So we'll see though. All right, God bless. And we'll take we we'll talk to you later.